Right, welcome back to SoFlow TV again, everybody. It is your host with the most. Do you know that I've said this many times before, and I'll say it again and again and again. The ma- the majority of the people of the island of Jamaica that are people of African descent or people of color, if they were awakened enough to realize who, what government they are under, what system, and how it's set up, and how it's ran, and who pulls the strings. There would be mass outrage, but they're very proud about their flag, as we all are, and we are very proud about our culture, our island, and all these other things, not realizing that there is so much that is wrong fundamentally. Now, I saw this insignia pop up. First, I saw it on Instagram, uh, on Scatterborel's uh, page on Instagram, and it was an insignia that is worn by the Governor General of Jamaica and the Governor General received this insignia directly from the Queen of England. Now this insignia was given by a white woman, which is the Queen, to a black man, which is the Governor General, which is her representative. The Governor General is the representative for the Crown. So this black man is charged by the Queen to represent her in her in in her absence on the island of Jamaica then and this is the insignia he was given a close look at the insignia shows you know what let me read this article for you because it was outside of Jamaica news cnn.com you can find this article and the headline says Jamaica's governor general suspends personal use of royal insignia over offending image this was printed in cnn on cnn website sunday june 28th of 2020 so the governor general of jamaica has suspended his personal use of the insignia but that does not suspend the use of the insignia or the meaning of the insignia to the royal family even if he suspends his personal use of it. It is still an insignia under which represents a certain position that represents the queen and that monarchy. Jamaica's governor general will no longer wear a royal insignia for personal use that depicts the archangel Saint Michael trampling Satan who is drawn with dark skin. Governor General Patrick Allen, the British monarchy's representative in Jamaica, made the announcement on Friday. Allen said that he is suspending the personal use of the insignia of the Order of St. Michael and St. George because of its offensive implications, according to a statement on the Governor General's website. The insight has the illusion or the illustration, rather, of St. Michael and Satan on one of its sides. According to the British Royal Family's website, the image posted to the Governor General's website and highlighted by Allen shows Satan as a dark-skinned man under the foot of a white archangel and has recently caused some stir up and some form of anger from the people in Jamaica. In his statement, Allen said that the suspension follows his acknowledgement of concerns that are raised by citizens over the image of the medal and the growing global rejection of the use of objects that normalize the continued degradation of people of color. Now you're telling me that all this time he has been wearing this insignia and he did not see anything wrong with it. You know? He didn't see anything wrong with it. Allen sent a letter to the Chancellor of the Order of St. Michael and St. George requesting a revision of the image, recommending that it be changed to reflect an inclusive image of the shared humanity of all peoples, the statement says. Now, CNN has reached out to the palace 
press office for comments, but of course, they have not received any response. The Order of St. Michael and St. George recognize service in a foreign country or in relation to foreign and commonwealth affairs. Like the work of foreign service officers and diplomats, according to the Royals website. Now, let me say this. I have taken a close look at this thing. And I, 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 I've done videos before where I told Jamaica that Jamaica is not independent. But a lot of Jamaicans refuse to believe that. Just for the simple fact that, listen, we, the, our highest court is the Privy Council, which is located in London, England. Now, I've made the example before that the highest court of the United States of America is located in the United States of America. The highest court of Canada is located in Canada. The highest court of the UK is located in the UK. Why is the highest court of Jamaica located in the UK? Why do we have a governor general? Why do we have a governor general that wears an insignia of the foot of a white person foot firmly planted on the head and neck of what appears to be a black person. These are things that we have to question. We can't just see the stuff and be like, ah, uh, it, it, it meant something different back then um, than it means now. So we're just going to move along with. No, it still means today what it meant back then. And that is the part that we are not understanding. Now, CVG 14 says, it doesn't matter what it meant then. What's important is how it is being interpreted now. And Nicola says, by whom? We just follow suit, which is another form of slavery. What it meant then was racist, because those Italians were the forebearers of Columbus, and they were all racists that came up with the painting and the depicting of the foot of that white person said to be an archangel on the neck of a individual who appears to be black. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to take a good look at that insignia. And then I want you to leave a comment in the comment section below. And let's have a real talk about this and other statues and insignias around the island. Talk up. Free your mind. It's SoFlo TV, man. Like, comment, share, subscribe. And I am out. I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.